We're taking some butternut squash and doing it a little bit differently in a curry sauce with wilted chard. We're on location at Grangetto's in Encinitas. Let's get cooking with style. There are all types of curries, and what we're gonna do here is more or less a Thai type of curry. We're gonna start off with about two or three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna take my onions, I've got about one here, diced up, and we're just gonna soften these ingredients up. I've got the onions diced, I've got my red peppers cut up into bite-sized pieces, and I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of garlic, and I'm gonna put that in there, and we're just gonna saute this around for just a couple minutes to kind of wilt everything down. You're not trying to caramelize this, all you're trying to do is just soften everything because we're gonna let this stew for about a half hour. So we just wanna get a light saute to open up the garlic, peppers, and onions. So we've got a nice little wilt on all these ingredients here, the garlic, peppers, and onions. To this, I'm going to add my curry powder and gram masala powder. If you don't have that and you see this, it's a, a Thai paste, you can go with this but these ingredients are a little more authentic. We're gonna put these in now and have the heat of the pan help expand those aromatics in the herbs that are in there. We'll saute this for just like a minute and then what we'll go ahead and do is add the squash. So everything's been cooking for about a couple minutes. The aromatics are unbelievable. Now we're putting in our butternut squash, okay? And to this, I'm gonna add my ginger now and the ginger I want to put in towards the end because I don't want to burn it. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of ginger in there. And then, <coughs> excuse me, to this I'm going to add half a can of tomato paste. And we're going to season this lightly with a little bit of salt and give this a nice little stir and let everything kind of incorporate for another two or three minutes. So everything's been sauteing for about a total of five to seven minutes. Now it's time to add the stock. We're adding some chicken broth to this, one of these boxes. And this is gonna cook down, so don't worry about too much liquid in there. And then also two cans of coconut milk. Now make sure you shake this up, because as you can see by that ball right there of coconut butter that's in this coconut milk, it definitely is thick. So to this, if you want to tighten this up a little bit, which we'll do in the end, we're going to add some cornstarch. This is ready to simmer for about a half an hour on medium low heat. So our curry's been stewing for about a half hour, 45 minutes. And you know, this is nice and brothy, but some might like it a little bit thicker. So what we're going to do is I've made a little bit of a mixture of cornstarch and chicken broth and I'm just gonna add this to it. It'll only take a couple minutes for it to thicken this up. We'll go ahead and add that in, and this will thicken this up just a little bit. You let that simmer for about five minutes. So while that simmers there, let's get some things ready. I've got this beautiful Thai basil that I picked up here at Grangetto's. We are on location at the Grangetto's in uh, Encinitas slash Rancho Santa Fe. So I'm just gonna take that Thai basil and sprinkle that in. And then to that, I'm gonna add some Swiss chard that I've already got chopped up. But for my rice, I wanna put some cilantro on it. And these, this is fresh out of the Grangetto's garden box at the station. So coarse chop on this. And then I've already got my jasmine rice ready to go here. So we're gonna put this in and we're gonna feed the crew up here. So we'll sprinkle that over the top and put that in there let that kind of sweat just a little bit. And if you look at this, you can already see the stew is starting to thicken up. So everything is coming together perfect. So at the very end, this is the Swiss chard, and we're gonna put this in, and we're gonna let this wilt down. It'll take about two or three minutes for this to wilt down, and then we'll be able to plate it up and get a beautiful curry dish on the plate with that steamed rice. Give me just a minute. Well, our butternut squash curry with the wilted Swiss chard is ready to go. Let's plate this up. We'll take some of this steamed jasmine rice with the cilantro on top. Get that there. Get a nice, healthy scoop of this curry. It's going to be a little messy here, but we'll clean up the plate in just a minute. But make sure you get some of that Swiss chard in there and the beautiful, beautiful curry sauce that's right there. 
dial this in just a little bit. Now, a couple little things I like to add. Some roasted peanuts, unsalted. And for those of you that like it spicy, like photographer, producer, John Steinbaugh, I've got a little bit of very thinly sliced jalapenos over the top. This is Casual Elegance, perfect winter dish. Let me get that spoon out of the way. Uh, a butternut squash curry with wilted chard. Casual Elegance, if you'd like this recipe, go to cbsa.com slash recipes, enjoy. Mm -hmm.